After exploring the western side of the Lizard Peninsula in Cornwall, today we will be exploring the east side as well as Falmouth. We're starting today in Catchwith, where we spend the night. In our first stop of the day will be Kovrak, a picturesque fishing village. Unlike the previous day, the weather didn't look too promising and the morning wasn't exactly starting the best way. But I still decided to take off early and make out the best of the day. What is up guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Danny and I do travel vlogs around London and other parts of the UK. Today we are starting at Kovrak. Cycling here was tough. I recognize my legs are becoming a little bit tired and tight as well from cycling so much. And I think my battery will actually not even last for today. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> we don't have the best weather today honestly it's going to be foggy the whole day and it will rain towards the end of the day so i'm going to try to be as fast as i can and hopefully we'll be able to see somewhat uh, all of the locations so that's the view i have to cover not amazing but we have to work with what we have Next on the list is Legan Cove, which is supposed to be a very hidden yet very beautiful cove that is on the coastal path. And again, I'm not doing a coastal path today. So I looked online and the easiest way to get here apparently is stopping at Rosnithan. And the beach is supposed to be, so if you walk down from Nose, uh, Rosnithan, where I actually had to park my bicycle, I think in a private property fence, um, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Then you turn right to the road that takes you to the coastal path. There is not really parking there, so I don't know how you're going to do it if you have a car. Even on my bicycle, I had to just, you know, get away somehow um, by parking my bicycle on a fence. Um, but yeah, from there you have the path that I'm taking now. It's a little bit muddy today because of the rain. And then you're going down towards Gudrvi Cove and Legan Cove is supposed to be on the left hand side. Now I don't have a lot of time because I have specific time to be at the gardens that I'm going to see today, meaning I have to leave here right on 1 p.m. Um, and it's 12.35, meaning if I don't find the beach, I'll just have to go back because uh, I have a ferry to catch at Helford River. Um, so yeah. Let's see if we can find this golf. Oh I have no idea where I am. But there's a beach here. I don't think that's the one I want though. The one I want is probably that one at the end. <laughs> isn't great and as I said I have to go back so I'm not sure if this is the one but the greenery around is so beautiful so stunning that honestly this would be a very nice beach to stay at if I could I would come back here with much better weather I'm still quite intrigued to see uh, what is like behind the cliffs on the other side and all of these rocky bits um, so even if this is not the one I would certainly come here shame that the weather doesn't and the weather in time doesn't permit me to really fully explore this place but man it is beautiful okay now i have to hurry up uh cycle to helford river k2 
get to the ferry boat to the other side and then go to the gardens. Just watch out for these plants here because if they touch you, you're gonna be itchy and it's gonna be red and it's gonna be painful at the same time. Not nice. After 45 minutes on my bicycle, I finally got to Halford River. If you're in the area, I recommend exploring the village and the river, especially if you have extra time. Since I didn't, I just hopped on the ferry boat, paid five pounds plus the three pounds fee for my bicycle, and in about seven to eight minutes, we got to the other side, where I would absolutely die after one of the most steep hills I have ever seen in Cornwall. Anymore. Honestly. Oh. 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 Banana cake. After dying completely in the hills of, you know, coming from Helfet towards the garden, I mean, my legs cannot take it anymore and so does my battery. So my battery is almost, you know, gone and I still have to cycle to Dagen and then from Dagen to Falmouth, where I'm gonna stay at. So that was a bit of a problem. I got to Treba Gardens three minutes before the last admission and my ticket time and I was like, it doesn't hurt. Let me ask them if they would potentially have a place where I could um, store my bicycle and charge it. And they said yes. So they were super, super nice. They took my bicycle to the, their garage where I left it to charge. And I also left my bags there so I don't have to carry everything around. So honestly, I'm so, so grateful to Treba Garden stuff because yeah, I don't know what would happen because I am sure I'm still gonna get some I'm still gonna have some hills ahead and that's gonna be tough. Uh, so far the gardens are really impressive by the way and I had a really nice banana bread. It was very delicious and I needed to restore my sugar levels. How beautiful. My grandma used to have lots of these plants at home so they kind of bring me back childhood memories. They're very pretty. So in Portuguese, we call them vases. Vases or vase? Kind of. Jarro. I'll try to look for the translation later. Can you tell that sometimes I just suck at languages? Let's just accept that. I also used to have loads of this in Portugal where I grew up and we used to take them off and kind of like pop them, but they're supposed to be poisonous. So our dad would be like, do not put your hands in your mouth after that. Um, yeah, the things I know from growing up in the countryside. <laughs> that looks like a pine tree, but a very different one. I am kind of confused. Sorry, can I ask you, are these pine trees? These ones? Yes. Uh, monkey puzzle. Monkey puzzle? Yeah. Never seen them before. No. Yeah, it's lovely. Quite crackly. But... Do you know where they're originally from? Mm, I think it's like sort of China, Asia. Okay. So. Very cool. Thank <laughs> you. Know, <laughs> there you go. In case you run, you don't need an umbrella. You need one of these. They're massive. Wow, they have so many. Gunera, Gunera Manicata. I've seen them a lot in other gardens, but they have way too many here, so I think that's quite interesting.
time to visit one of the gardens around Dagen in one day. But since we're fully exploring the east side of the Lizard Peninsula and Falmouth on today's vlog, let's jump to the following day when we visited Clandergan Garden, only a 5 minutes walk away. Needless to say, I started the day with banana cake. Again. is mostly known for its maze, which was unfortunately closed due to the restrictions. Once you get to the bottom of the garden, you have access to the beautiful village of Daga, which I totally recommend visiting. Once you're done exploring around the village, you can come back to the garden and continue your visit. I didn't know I could do such thing and so I ended up cycling to Dagen on purpose on the day before my visit to the gardens and let me tell you, it was quite an experience. So Dagen is really, really, really gorgeous. How cute is this place? <laughs> um, I remember seeing photos online and being like, I will love this place. And I do. Uh, it's very tiny, but very, very pretty. I wish the sky was a little bit better. Uh, and still, with cloudy sky, I would still say that the views are amazing. So yeah, if you can, come here, but be mindful that there is a hell of a hill. And I just went down, which is, of course, easier. And now I have to go up. And I know how that's going to happen. Me dying. Basically. Come on, girl. We got this. Ah! Honestly, Daniela, what are you doing to yourself? What? It's not over. It's not over. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. Penance Hill, of course. The name is Hill. Penance Hill. So, enough of my dying self. To finish our vlog, it is time to show you a little bit of Falmouth. I didn't get the chance to fully explore the city, not only because of the G7, but also because I spent my time roaming around nearby locations. So here is a little of what I saw while in there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, I'll leave you with some bloopers. There is a horse coming. That is much better to go uphill than my bicycle. I would consider that. Uh, is it west on the map? So on the last, oh, whoa. Beach, there is a beach. <laughs> so yeah, please don't forget to leave a like and comment.